A question that has cropped up time and again, actually, over the last year or so, is whether you can spray your electrostatic sprayer when people are in the room. In this video, I'm going to address that question and try and answer it as best I can. I'm Ollie, welcome to Source. So, can you spray when people are in the room? Personally, we don't do that here at Source, but the caveat on my answer is I don't know the size of your room. Go back to your sprayer and look how far the projection is of the spray when you're on 40, 80 or 110 microns and generally you'll find it's about two or three meters which is further than we first thought. If people are at their workstations and you're spraying around the likelihood is that they're going to inhale some of your disinfecting fluid. Now the fluids that we recommend by Tech Care, the control fluid, isn't dangerous per se but because of the electrostatic nature of the particles when you do inhale it it does tickle the back of the throat somewhat so that's why people who are spraying we recommend they use a face mask. So if you really have to spray an office, I would question your technique and your method. If people are in the room, use a trigger spray and a cloth with a disinfecting fluid and you're going to have much more control over your application and your cleaning method. Maybe rewind a little bit and ask yourself, do you really need to spray? Oh, by the way, if you do find this video even remotely interesting, then please hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted as to when I post the next video. So going back to the sprayer, common sense, if you've got a huge open plan office and there are people working away 20, 30, 40 yards down the corridor, then obviously they are safe to stay there and continue with their work. But if you are in a much more enclosed space, I would err on the side of caution and maybe spray the area when there is no one there. So I hope that clears up the question. Uh, you know more about your environment than I do, therefore I can't answer it with that much detail, but hopefully that has helped. If you've got any more questions about electrostatic spraying or any other products we do, just drop them in the comment section below and I will endeavor to get back to everyone. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.